Welcome back to KSP at Astra. Today we're doing a Duna landing, and um, we're not going to start off with that because we're back with Me Melee One. It is in Duna orbit, and it has been since we lost communications with it. Guess what? Because we are closer to Kerbin now, um, we can communicate with it even without having to create the whole Hermes network like we were. Um, I mean, that's pretty good. That that's all right. But it is a good time for us to start sending a whole bunch of science back, which we've just held on to for absolute ages now, uh, which is, you know, it, it's, it's, it's pretty good. It's, it's positive. Uh, but here we are um, now back at the Calypso. Now the Calypso is about to enter in to a uh well they're perform the calypso is currently performing its capture burn it's gonna take a long time so i just decided to start uh researching a bunch of stuff because i'd be you know producing a good amount of uh energy electric charge from you know capture burning around duna into the orbit that we will basically plan on keeping for the foreseeable future well i haven't gone much further than this in my playthrough so yeah it's uh it's uh it's gonna be here for a while anyway um i'm going to uh lower the orbit and it will be uh basically not super high in the orbit of duna but it's not gonna be super low either if you know what i mean like it's it's gonna be just just about right uh it's going to be low enough for us to, um, you know, get things done, be able to rendezvous with the, uh, with the lander in, uh, low Duna orbit or in, could you consider this a medium Duna orbit? I mean, it is kind of high up there. Um, I don't really know, but yeah, right now I'm actually plotting out how I'm going to land the lander um how much delta v i need because actually on this on the uh, spaceship itself i need about as much delta v as i can get so i need to load as much on board as possible um and considering that you know it won't take a whole lot to get down there i can actually take fuel away from the transfer stage that will allow us to land on duna now um here i'm going to perform the you know good old deorbit burn now this will allow us to hit the atmosphere with our uh, little heat shield and it will um, basically you know slow us down enough for us to not really get that many like thermal effects or anything along that lines and it will uh, help us not to die so here we are we are quickly descending. Now, I was actually live streaming this to my friends uh, over Discord, and it was really laggy. It was really bad. Um, I was probably getting uh, maybe, uh, well, it, it would have pretty bad hitches occasionally and things like that. Um, it just, it wasn't great. Uh, it wasn't a great experience, and uh, you'll see what a lag spike caused in just a moment. So. Here we are, we're slowly descending, and as the parallax shaders, or not shaders, I guess they're shaders or whatever they are, as they started loading in things, I started to get more and more and more lag, and it uh, it actually ended up causing a little incident right here. So now, here I am slowing down so that we can softly touch down on the surface, and yeah, I fell over. Now. What I'm about to do, it's kind of shameful, but I had just gotten, gotten done with roughly 15 hours of actually going through the craft bot, like edits of the, of the game to basically say that, hey, I, uh, these Kerbals do have life, uh, life support. Why are they dying? They shouldn't be dying. And yeah, so I got really fed up and, um, yeah, I cheated the gravity. Yeah. 
not super proud of it, but like, I uh, wanted to be very transparent about it. So yeah, I cheated in the gravity. I rotated the craft and uh, yeah, I uh, had him uh, reboard the craft form all of the experiments that we needed to perform and then we will be getting right back into orbit there we go I did a little experiment there and now I've got out our scientist and Craig is going to um, just kind of do some stuff you get back a boy. And we will be very quickly back onto the space station because we don't really have a whole lot of life support. This uh, this craft can really only house our carpals for um, a couple of days, which is not great considering, you know, we want our carpals to live. And the whole reason why I cheated was so that they wouldn't die on the surface in three days. Now, that's probably an issue. And oh yeah, <laughs> I almost blew up the engine, which wouldn't have been good. But yeah, I just saw if I, maybe I could, um, yeah, just kind of go around. So now here we are exiting the Duna atmosphere. All the Kerbals on Kerbin are probably going crazy, being like, "Oh my God, we landed on the on Duna!" Blah blah blah. blah. It, yeah, they're probably super excited. So, here we have, um, we're going to be trying to get a good little encounter, or at least we're going to try and get our orbital insertion burn done real quick. And then we will be off to the races in low do not orbit. So yeah, got to get that encounter. We got to get it just right. Because we want to use the lowest amount of fuel possible because we're going to want to transfer our fuel to the craft, to the main craft. There's a little burn, as you can see, the little blue, um, the blue sunset or sunrise of, uh, of Duna. Duna rise, I guess it's called. And yeah. Here we are coming back to the ship. They were only here a day ago. And now they are ready to dock back to the ship. And complete at least one of the main objectives of their mission. And then they're going to load all of the science they could possibly get onto the ship. So that we never have to send out a ship like this ever again the Calypso or Calypso class ship because I send another one into space soon um, these types of ships they're done they're they're not gonna be leaving low like low or they're not gonna be leaving curb in orbit for at least for a while I mean I could think of reasons I mean once like I guess maybe the the infrastructure is a little bit bigger um, like these can dock to uh, stations in like low Duna orbit or things like that and see how they can become much more useful but right now they're not they're just not anyways now we are loading quite literally all the fuel possible including all of the monopropellant onto the onto the Avalon or not the Avalon the Calypso oops they're literally, I'm loading everything onto the Calypso. Nothing will be left on the uh, little lander. And there we go. Just empty it out. And boom. Now everything is ready to basically go back to Duna. Except we need to get a lot of the science off of the. Uh, off of the initial, uh, off of the initial um, craft right here, the the lander, and that lander is just going to be stuck in Duna orbit. We're we're just leaving it there. It's dead weight now. We're not landing on Duna anymore. It's it's uh it's done. It was a one and done mission. Now, 
It's not saying that we're gonna have we're not gonna have more missions to Duna. That was actually one of the biggest issues for, of my last series. We only went to Duna once, uh, and that that wasn't great. Um, yeah, but we uh, we're definitely gonna have more missions to Duna. I mean, we're what we're, we're only like ten episodes in. Or, we're we're 14 episodes in. This is episode 14, so we're of course going to have more missions to everywhere. Um, one of the main things that was holding me back in the previous series is the uh, was just some of the uh, what's it called? Oh yeah, I was trying to see right here how close I could get it. But yeah, that's it. That's it for today. Um, we're pretty much done. I had to <laughs> I did ditch him out. <laughs> that's kind of funny. And then I had to get him to collect all the science. Anyway, um, yeah, it was a good one today. I'm sorry I seemed tired. Uh, I am. I just accidentally biked 25 miles. So, yeah, uh, if you heard that, please leave a comment. Say something about tw 25. Make fun of me. I don't know. Say, I don't know. Um, anyway, goodbye.